So it's been a while, man. It's been about a year or so since uh, since we had a chance to see you. It's so been a bit, been a bit. What's, what's been going on, man? Let us know what you've been working on and what you've been up to in the meantime. Been chilling. Uh, I've been training. Probably the longest I've trained, so it's uh, it's been good. It's been good. What's the focus been during training? I mean, did you purposely take this long away to, to, to take some extra time? No, it, uh, it kind of just worked out like that. Um, I went to uh, America in the start of the year. Uh, moved there, I planned to stay there, and then uh, the Rona hit. So, uh, <laughs> what do you do, eh? I had to go home, be with my boy, and be uh, close to him. And then uh, just fights didn't fall through and kept going and kept going, and then uh, now we're here. So, I think it, you know, it might have been a, a blessing and a curse. Well, I was gonna say, I mean, sometimes we hear like that that's the time you get better, right? Is when you don't have. A training camp you're not preparing for an opponent you're just training do you feel like you've been able to do that or is, or is the no no made it tough? i've been i've been switched on uh obviously uh, i kind of i had to free uh free losses kick you in the ass a little bit you know what i mean so i had to uh had to have a sit down with myself and, and have a kind of little look at what i wanted to do and and where i wanted to go and uh i feel uh, a lot more prepared mentally and uh physically so, uh, I'm ready, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to get in there and punch on. I was wondering, I mean, did you get to a point, like, I mean, you, I feel like you got a lot of fame, like, early in your career. Like, you were, like, a personality almost. Did it get to a point where you're, like, I'm just enjoying being, like, that guy versus, like, really having to put in the work to be a uh, fighter? No, 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 not so much like that. I, I've never changed as, as in me. I'm kind of just me. But uh, the sport and what I want to do and uh, kind of how fast I was going up, I kind of had to... Uh, <laughs> I did, I had to kind of sit back and, and, and kind of think, what, fuck, you're going to give this a good crack or you're going to just sit around and ask around about it. But, um, and I got those, uh, those, big com those big guys. I was fighting big guys and started on, so I was like, shit, I've got, <laughs> I've got to get my shit together. So I feel good uh, and I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I'm kind of learning as we go. So. You talk about fighting big guys and they don't get much bigger, right? What do you think about the matchup when they gave you this one? The bigger the better, eh? So they say. Do you have to do anything special to prepare for somebody like that? I mean, I don't guess you could find very many training partners that can mimic that. Yeah, I did. I've got big legs. Oh, pretty well. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got uh, Charles Joyner. Uh, you know, he's up there. He's, he's, he's calling legs for a reason. So uh, I, th I feel like I'm, um, I'm prepared as, as well as I can be. Very nice. Last thing for me. So, what is, I mean, obviously the goal is always to win, but I mean, do you feel like you're coming out like you got to make a statement and show people something, show people what you are different this time? I think over over my time uh, in the UFC, I think I've learned uh, <laughs> don't be the young bull and try to, you know, get it all at once. Uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm ready for a free round fight and uh, not just physically, but mentally. I think uh, before I wasn't really mentally thinking like that, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'm definitely uh, ready to fight three fives, and but you know me. Once we're in there, and, and I see the, if I see the opening, uh, I'm gonna definitely go for it. So you spoke about going to America, and you went to AKA, right? Yep. Can you just talk to me about that experience, what's like training with Daniel Cormier and people like that? It's a bit of a, uh, a wake-up call, eh? Like, um, kind of shows you where you're at in in terms of my fighting's good. I'm a good fighter. But uh, when it comes to MMA, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of had to, uh, you know. And I'm, a, I'm an honest fella. I'm, I'm pretty honest. And uh, it, it being in, it being like, uh, you know, in Australia, you might be in a room with three killers or one killer. And you're walking in a room with a hundred of them, it uh, opens your eyes and, and it, it kind of, you know, gives you a, a benchmark of where you're at. So, but uh, to to be offered and, and to be welcomed as I did at AKA by uh, DC and by Harv and by the boys. Couldn't ask for anything better, you know, so. Am I right in thinking there's no friend of yours who used to train at? Titties? Yes. <laughs> well, his name's <laughs> Justin Willis, but I mean. Bitch tits, I told you. He's a bitch. Was he, did he have to leave? Ah, I told him to come down to the gym and sort it out if he wanted to, but uh, if you, you know, but when, he, the, when the truth comes, the truth comes. He, he ain't about it. You said about you've had gone through some, you know, different training. You feel physically better. Have you lost a bunch of weight and put on muscle? What's, you look good. Nah, <laughs> yeah, stopped eating KFC for a bit. Uh, you know, got uh, 
got some um, yeah just 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 taking it a bit more professional you know what I mean I'm, I'm a bit of a clown I like to have fun I like to get on the piece as you do but uh like I said, three losses will kick anyone in the ass, you know. So, uh, and that's where I had to I had to be honest with myself. And I don't want to lose again, man. I, I'm 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 not a I'm not a loser. So. When you talked about going to the gym and seeing a hundred kilos in a room, that could I think, if you're especially going to back of a couple of losses, that could either motivate you to try and get better, or you maybe even say to you like, "Fuck, I'm never going to get to that level." What did it do? For I'm you? a killer, so that's what I I am a killer. So that's what I do, and and. Just to be around those guys, it makes you want to be better at doing what you're doing. And look at who it, look who it is. It's it's <laughs> it ain't just <laughs> it ain't no titties. It's DC and and uh, and, and you know and Cain Velasquez. It's, it's these guys are guys I looked up to and, and real killers. So it motivated me. Yeah, it didn't didn't shy me away for sure. That's for sure. I'm I'm keen to go back and. I'm, I'm keen to learn, you know. These guys have wrestled their whole lives. Uh, we punch on our whole lives in Australia, but we don't get to uh, wrestle and get amongst it like they do. And last thing for me, obviously, I'm, your personality is well known. Cormier is a bit of a joker himself. What was the vibe like actually in the gym? <laughs> well, uh, that was the thing, you know. We, he kind of he he welcomed me, and and we we kick it we kick it good. So we we we're both clowns. We're both loud. We both talk shit. We're good for each other. Time. On Saturday, how close were you to doing a shoey when the Panthers got through to the grand final? I'm, I'm switched on. <laughs> but this week, this week is the grand final. This week is the grand final. And when we win that and when I win my fight, shoey's all around. I'm ready to let loose, that's for sure. <laughs> Has the pandemic slowed people from asking for shoeys or is everybody still down the second they see you? We're Aussies, brother. We don't, we don't <laughs> okay. give a shit. Yeah, we don't give a shit. Oh, some people might, but not where I'm from. <laughs> oh, we got worse things to worry about catching, I think. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, you, you can, I'll leave that up to you. What was the uh, first day on the mats like with DC and the King? It's fucking tired. <laughs> like, I, I went a bit fat too, so I was like... It was the first day I did four, four fives with DC, and I was just like, shit. Better stop eating. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was it was it was, a, it was an eye opener. But uh, DC was kind of big himself, so it was good. <laughs> Actually, the walkout on a Saturday night is going to be pretty quiet. No, no crowd, and it's a very short walkout. So are we going to get the tight two Vasha special with the tunes or what's it? It's not a big walk. No, not really. Well, that means a slower I'll walk. <laughs> I just walk slower, yeah. Just walk slower. Okay. Thank you.